Module 4 is a practical demonstration test based on vehicle safety which has been developed with the support and advice of the industry. The test will last approximately 30 minutes and the test will be timed by the examiner. During the test you are required to demonstrate your knowledge and ability in the following areas. Loading the vehicle, security, preventing criminality, emergency situations as well as physical risk. What you will need to bring on the day of your driver CPC Module 4 test is your valid signed UK license and Module 2 case study pass certificate. Listen carefully to the examiner. He is not there to fail you. He will only fail you if you give the incorrect answers. Only finish a question when you are satisfied with the answer that you have given. If you find a defect on the bus when you are on your Module 4 test, explain to the examiner that you will log the defect on the defect card and then inform your instructor of the defect after the test. You will need to indicate to the examiner where you would find the unladen weight of the vehicle, which is normally on the near side of the vehicle. You will also need to understand the weight of passengers and their luggage, as well as fuel. 15 passengers is approximately 1,000 kilograms or one ton. 15 suitcases is approximately 330 kilograms. And 100 liters of fuel is approximately 100 kilograms. If a wheelchair user wants to board your bus, you will need to show the examiner the different access points. You will need to demonstrate where the wheelchair user should be parked and which direction they should be facing, which is to the rear. Should the wheelchair area be occupied by another passenger, you need to tell the examiner what procedure you would follow. You will be asked by the examiner how you would check the seats for comfort and safety. The seats should be checked thoroughly, including the anchor points on the floor. If the cushions are fitted separately, they will need to be checked to make sure that they are not loose. You should check for anything sharp that could snag the skin or clothing. You must also check for cleanliness. Continue checking all the seats until the examiner tells you to stop. The examiner will ask you to show them how you would check the vehicle interior for comfort and safety. You will then check luggage rack, grab rails, making sure that they are fitted securely. You would check the trim is secure and check for any sharp objects. You would check the floor is in good condition and clean. You also check for any trip hazards or things that may soil or damage clothing. If you are driving a different vehicle for the first time, the examiner will ask you to show them the practical and visual safety checks that you would carry out. Firstly, you'd be aware of the height of the vehicle. You'd do a cockpit drill by checking the doors operate correctly. The seat is secure and correctly adjusted. The steering is correctly adjusted, the seat belt is working and the mirrors are clean and correctly adjusted. You will then need to point out the safety equipment like the first aid kit, the fire extinguisher and the emergency door hammer if applicable. Finally, you would need to check that you have enough fuel for the journey. The examiner is going to ask you to show them how you would check the seat belts. You would check firstly the anchor points by tugging the seat belt. You would check that the seat belt is clean and in good condition. You will also need to say that signs must be in place to tell the passengers that the seat belts must be worn if fitted. You must then mention to the examiner that you will ensure all passengers understand the signs and legal requirements. You are parked at a border crossing and you and your passengers have left the vehicle unattended. The examiner is going to ask you what safety checks you would do before driving through customs. You would then check all lockers and compartments. If it can be opened, open it and check. You will check under all seating areas. You will check the fuel cap hasn't been tampered with. You will then proceed to check all external compartments including the engine.
you will check under and on top of the vehicle visually. Finally, you would check the passenger list to make sure you have the correct number of legitimate passengers. You are driving on the motorway and flames appear from the engine compartment. The examiner is going to ask you what the procedure is. You will stop as quickly and safely as possible on the hard shoulder. You will need to identify the correct fire extinguisher to use for an electrical fire, which would be in this case CO2 or powder. You would then isolate the vehicle and then know how to contact the emergency services. You suspect a brake fault on the vehicle. The examiner is going to ask you what checks you would do. Firstly, you would empty the air tanks by pumping the foot brake. You would restart the engine and make sure that the air pressure levels are going up. You would then stop the engine and apply the foot brake and listen out for any air leaks. Then a physical check of the air system to make sure that the air lines are serviceable. The examiner is going to ask you to explain what overhangs and projections there are on your vehicle, which you will need to identify. You will need to explain overhangs can sweep the curb when turning, possibly colliding with street furniture, pedestrians and other vehicles. Mirror projections can also come into contact with pedestrians, street furniture and other vehicles as well. You will need to tell the examiner that a good all-round observation is required, as well as extensive mirror use to check for any rear end sweep. The examiner is going to ask you what checks you would do before moving away from a bus stop after an elderly passenger or a wheelchair user has boarded your bus. You would then say that you would make sure that the kneeling facility or ramp is safely secured. You would check all doors are closed. You would make sure all passengers have reached a secure and safe position. Finally, you would check your near side mirror for any late passengers before moving away. Your bus is full of passengers, the engine is running and you are in the driving seat. You have just been involved in a road traffic incident. The examiner is going to ask you what you would do. Firstly, you would switch off the engine. Then warn other traffic by using your hazard lights, beacons, cones or advance warning triangle. Then check passengers for any injuries. Then finally, contact the emergency services. The examiner is going to ask you to show and explain the daily safety checks you would do before you drive the vehicle out on the road. In the following order, you would check the height marker instrument panel warning lights, mirrors and emissions. The horn. Wipers and washers. Lights and reflectors. Brakes, any air leaks, tires and wheel fixings, and finally emissions and exhaust system.